Hey YouTube, Tiffany with another hair video. Let me first say I'm so sorry I've been absent in these past few weeks. I've just been so busy. There's been school, there's been family. Um, we've been out of town a few times, so I haven't did a video in a while and I'm so sorry. But as you can see, I have a new hairstyle, yay! Okay, so I have what I'm calling micros with a pop of color. Now, let me just say, I've never had straight micros before, ever, ever in my life. I've done straight micros on other people, never wanted to try them on myself. I love my wet and wavy, I love my um, spiral curls, I love my curly. I've never had straight micros. So the way this came about, I've always asked my husband before I get ready to do my hair, you know, how would he like to see my hair? Now, ever since we've been married, He's always had the same answer every time. Oh, however you do it, babe, I know it'll come out nice. For some reason, this joker decides he wants to answer differently. So I ask him, I say, babe, you know, how do you wanna see my hair? He goes, hmm, I wanna see it straight, make it happen. Boom, here you go, straight micros. <laughs> I am in love. I wish that he would've came up with this idea a long time ago because I really, really like it. I did a good job, pets to the back. But I, I really like it. Um, The way I did this particular style and why I'm calling it micros with a pop of color, if I come in, you can see I have one B30 in my hair but I don't have it all the way throughout. I parted my hair about right here on the side. So over here is the one B, it's all black. And from here to here is one B 30. So up at the crown area of my hair is where the color is. So if I put my hair up, if I have it, you know, with a little swoop or anything, you're getting your what? Boom, pop of color right there. Um, I found that it's a little better that way. It's different. I wasn't really trying to do the color all the way through because, again, I'm more of a 1B33 type girl. But ever since getting out of the military and now I'm able to actually try color, I've been trying to do some different things, you guys. But I really like how it came out. It's not, again, the color's not all the way throughout. It's just in certain areas. It makes it kind of look like it's, you know, like I got highlights and streaks, but not over the whole head because it's black over here. It took me, whew, it took me about two days to finish this up. But again, I was packing. We were gearing to go like during that time. So I was packing and stopping. And it's been in now for about three weeks. So it's a little old, but it still looks really good in my opinion because I did it, of course. Hello. But um, this brand of hair that I use is called Naomi and it's the Ultra Yaki Bulk Human Hair. It was $19.99, no, $18.99 a pack. And I used two packs. I used the pack of 1B30, which is this. So I only used half of this pack. And I used the full pack of the 1B of the black. Um, again, this is my first time ever using that particular brand of hair. I've never used it on anyone else. But so far, it's holding up really good. As you can even see, I curled my hair at the beginning of last week while we were still out of town. And it's still holding curls, like no lie. I didn't curl them tight. I used um, my ceramic hot curler. And this one is the Pro Beauty Tools. I couldn't tell you where I got this from. I don't remember. But what I love about this hot curler is that it lets you control the temperature on the side. It goes from low, medium to high. And I never curl um, any type of hair that I have in on higher than a medium setting. But what I found with this hair is this was is the low setting. I curled it using the low setting and it still holds the curls really, really well. Um, again, took me about two days. So doing your own hair, that's good. I can stop and go. So I couldn't tell you what's the approximate time it might take to do this style. Um, the length of the hair was 18, 20 inch. So, for some reason on these packs, it says 18 to 20. I'm used to dealing with one inch of hair, but these, this brand of hair is 18 to 20 inch. And again, this is how it came out. Um, I got my inspiration for using the color. Actually, I was watching Philly Divas 
um, hair video when she had the braids and she had the 30, but she had the complete 30, like all over the top. And I love that look, but I wasn't sure how it was going to come out on me. So I just did it again, just right here in the crown area. And I didn't use 30 completely. I still used 1B30. So it looks like it's kind of highlighted or kind of streaked or, you know, whatever. And this is how it came out. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I have to do a video showing you guys how I do my braids. Well, if anybody wants to see it, just email me and let me know. Because I do my braids a little different. They're not knotted on the ends. There's no spritz. There's no spray. There's no glue. There's nothing. And I never have a problem with my braids slipping out. So if anybody actually wants to see me do that, I will take the time out and make a video. But I just need to know. I've been getting great feedback, great response from everyone. And I'm so thankful for that. Thank you guys for um, supporting me. And if anybody has any questions, any comments, anything that you want to know, you know how it goes with me, positive or negative. I appreciate it all. But thanks for watching YouTube. See you later.